Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Here is a photo that I shot just yesterday of a rainbow uh, that was off the back porch. Uh, and you see trees and mountains in the sky. It had just finished raining, and this is just one of the better rainbows that I've ever seen. It was very, very vibrant. I could see almost the entire color spectrum, if not the entire color, color spectrum. Uh, now, normally I would upload this to Flickr, which is a website that allows you to uh, put your photos online and share them with your friends and discover other people who are posting either similar photos or maybe your friends are on the Flickr social network, um, but uh, this uh, is not the answer for everybody. CAA1000 was in our chat room just yesterday and he asked, Chris, can you make a topic of what would be a better photo storage site? Yahoo screwed with it once again. It's deleting the Yahoo photos that provided unlimited storage and wants us to pay for unlimited storage at Flickr. If there is a free unlimited photo storage site, please let me know. Well, he is correct. Uh, if you if you want to have m massive amounts of space that you'll never use, you have to get a Flickr Pro account, and uh, I think that uh, that'll cost you a few bucks. Um, I, I can't remember the the first time I had registered; it was fifty. I think it's less than fifty dollars for a couple years subscription to a Flickr Pro account. If you do have a lot of photos and a lot of your friends are on Flickr, it's certainly worth spending the money on. Uh, poopy pants, and I hope to God that is not his or her real name, uh, suggested Photo Bucket, and I think a few people here have also just suggested Photo Bucket. Dex uh, suggested Photo Bucket. DVS suggested Smug Mug. Aaron MC, PhotoBucket.com. I have loads of photos on there, and it's free. Deviant Art, another fantastic place. Uh, for, uh, well, not just photos, but just art in general, digital art. Um, see here, Picasa, data brokers suggest, and uh, Icy suggested Picasa yesterday as well. Picasa uh, automatically has albums on the web now, and that's using Google or your Google account, and chances are you already have a Google account, like you probably already have a Yahoo account. Um, I don't know if Google's ever going to cap the amount of photos that you can upload, the size of the photos, or how often, or how much space you take up. But for right now, uh, Google, uh, and through Picasa, or directly to the web, is a fantastic alternative uh, to Flickr. Uh, there's not as many people using Picasa in terms of the social web, but if all you put your, if all, the only reason why you put your photos online is to keep them online or to share with maybe a couple of people. Uh, my recommendation would actually be the same that data brokers had suggested uh, as well as uh, Icy yesterday, and that would be using Picasa to upload the photos or just uploading it to your Google account. Uh, the the uh, Picasa web albums, I believe, is what that particular service is called. It was also recommended by Poopy Pants, <laughs> ImageShack.us. Uh, so there's a there's a there's a few different options for everybody out there. Uh, if you're not uploading your photos to the web and they're you know public or can be viewed publicly, you should be because it makes for an excellent way to back up those photos uh, in case of an accident. In fact, my parents' hard drive crashed a few months ago and they didn't upload their photos to the web. Uh, they'll they're pretty much lost forever. Or if anything, I I have some low resolution versions that they emailed to me. Uh, had they had a broadband account, I certainly would have, at that point, I would have recommended uploading either to Flickr or Picasa web albums uh, just to make their lives a, a lot easier um, and certainly to, to have those memories to look at today. Anybody else have any recommendations for CAA 1000 in terms of free or unlimited online photo storage? By all means, suggest a way. Leave a comment or swing by the chat room. We're always here at live.perillo.com.